科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。Happy Chinese New Year! I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today we are going back to rating technology and access their ability to influence our lives in the near future with our Threshold standard. Today I'm going to introduce two amazing outfits, and they are perfect for the season. Imagine wearing a thin and stylish sweater that keeps you as warm as a thick down jacket. Researchers at Zhejiang University have developed a special fiber inspired by polar bear hair that can make this a reality. Polar bear hair has a unique structure that provides excellent insulation in extreme cold. It is comprised of an inner porous core and an outer dense shell. The core, with its high air-filled porosity, acts as a great insulator, trapping heat close to the bear's body. Meanwhile, the outer shell provides a protective barrier. This combination allows the polar bears to thrive in temperatures that the other creatures can't. Inspired by the nature, the scientists have created knitable fiber with similar properties using aerogel technology. Aerogels have long been recognized as the ideal material for thermal insulation due to their high porosity and exceptionally low thermal conductivity. However, their application in textile has been limited due to their fragile nature, and they are also hard to process. The scientists overcame these challenges by encapsulating the aerogel fiber with a stretchable layer that mimics the core shell structure of polar bear hair. To create these fibers, the scientists started by making a very fluffy and lightweight aerogel fibers, kind of like making cotton candy but using a different material. Then they covered these fibers with a stretchy plastic layer, creating what they call an encapsulated aerogel fiber (EAF). This process made the EAF incredibly stretchy and strong. They were even able to lift half a kilo of weight with just one fiber. These EAF have an impressive ability to stretch up to ten times their original length, which is much more than regular aerogel fibers with very limited stretchiness. Even after being stretched and relaxed ten thousand times, these EAF retain their ability to keep things warm, and they're tough enough to be washed and dyed, making them suitable for various types of clothing and fabrics. With this technology, the researchers successfully knitted a sweater that is only one fifth as thick as a traditional insulation, but just as warm. The researchers believe that these fibers could be useful in extreme environments where excellent insulation is needed. They also think that the method they use to create the fibers is straightforward enough for it to be easily scaled up for mass production. So how good is it according to the standards of the threshold rating? Remember, we have three categories: readiness, novelty, and potential impact or ripples. The readiness category refers to the maturity of a technology, from lab demonstration, that is a one, to mass production, which is a five. The novelty score refers to how new the innovation is. One means that there is a small differentiation to existing technology, and five means that innovation fulfills a new function. Finally, the ripple scale, as we call it, is our opinion of a technology's potential for life-changing impacts and how widely it can be applied elsewhere. The biomimic polar bear fiber is a great innovation, but it does face some challenges. To ensure its strength and durability, the fiber is covered with thermoplastic polyurethane (TPU). TPU is chosen for its excellent strength and flexibility. However, there is a couple of drawbacks. First, TPU is relatively expensive, and second, TPU isn't resistant to UV light, meaning that it can degrade and weaken quickly when exposed to sunlight, making it less suitable for long-term outdoor use. These issues need to be addressed before this technology can be widely used in clothing industry. Therefore, the development of this technology is ongoing, and it has a readiness score of three. While artificial furs and leathers have been available for quite some time, leveraging the unique structure of polar bear fur for its superior quality is a significant advancement. It is a novel idea with a score of four for innovation. 
The potential impact of this technology is huge. This could revolutionize fashion design and help people survive in extreme conditions. The impact is enormous, so it is a score of 5 for its potential impact. Now, let's move on to the second outfit. In the hot summer, we sometimes wish there is this technology that allows us to walk around with an air conditioner, right? Well, scientists are trying and have came up with placing tiny devices inside of clothes and that can help you warm or cold depending on the temperature. Recently, researchers from Nankai University in China have created a new wearable device that addresses these limitations. This device combines flexible solar panels called OPV modules with special temperature controlled units called EC thermal regulation units. The unique feature of this device is that it does not need any external power source, meaning that it powers itself using sunlight. It can actively regulate our body temperature and quickly make us feel warm or cold as needed. It can even switch between warm and cold modes depending on our body's requirements. This special clothing known as OPVEC Thermoregulatory Clothing, short for OEPC, expands our thermal comfort zone and makes us feel comfortable at a wider range of temperatures from 6 to 25.1 degrees Celsius. It works really fast to adjust to the temperature and it uses very little energy so that it can work all day long. In the future, this device could be used in many different situations. It can be useful in extreme environments like the polar regions or during spacewalks. So, how good is it according to the standard of this threshold rating? The OETC shows promise for harsh scenarios where thermal regulation is crucial. However, OPV modules, the solar panel and their applications and their applications in clothing is still in experimental stage and not ready for mass production. So we rate this technology a 2 for readiness. On the other hand, in terms of novelty, this idea deserves a rating of 5. It brings an innovative approach to thermal regulation in clothing. Similarly, the potential impact of OEPC are significant. It could revolutionize space mission, polar exploration, and even find applications in military gear. Considering these potential ripple effects, we rate it a 5. And that is all for today's threshold. As usual, we welcome your feedback and thoughts. 